morning children, good morning mums and dads, hope you're okay and you're keeping well. The rain's not come yet so I'm hoping to get out on my daily mile in a minute just before it does. I thought we could talk about numbers today. This is a little bit more for the mums and dads really, telling you something that we do in preschool. And when you're teaching your children how to count and to recognise numbers, you'll have more success if you put a meaning to it and you make a reason for counting. If you're just counting out loud, one, two, three, four, children get bored and disinterested. But if you line things up, or say you're setting the table for dinner and you're using knives and forks and spoons, you know, it's, it's good to get them to count them out because there's a purpose then behind what they're doing. Or if, say, you're having some strawberries or blueberries or something in a bowl, biscuits, whatever you're having, if they count out the number as well. So if you give them an opportunity, what we do in preschool, if we're having a little tea party, we'll count out the plates that we're putting out and then the spoons and then whatever food item we're putting on the plate. And if you give children a reason to count... You have much more success in them in them learning the counting and learning the numbers and always try them as well to, to write the numbers down for them so they start to recognize the numbers once your child has started counting and they started recognizing some numbers the next stage then that we do with them in preschool is getting them to attribute value to that number because we have some children in preschool who can count beyond 20 but we have to ask them to go and get us four items they don't understand that does that make sense now your child in preschool the expectation on them is only that they can count up to five only i know that's huge but we have some parents who say well they can only count up to 10 that's brilliant if your child can count up to 10 and recognize numbers one to ten that's absolutely fantastic their expectation while they're in preschool is not to do greater than that but what I would probably be doing if I had a child who could recognize numbers 1 to 10 and count confidently up to number 10 is I'd start to introduce maybe the addition symbol and the equals symbol and maybe start to do some small sums like 1 add 2 but again you're better off using objects to do it with so like I've got here you could use small cars I've got some ducks I've got some spoons just household objects will do some spices so all it is is just having something you can have lots of toys you can have teddies uh, like I say cars anything they don't all have to be the same thing either and you can make a nice game of it now I'm very lucky I've got these lovely big gel uh, numbers that I use in preschool because the children like to feel them as well mess about with them but you can make some card ones by cutting them out on or getting the children to colour them in and then cutting them out or you can just draw them on a piece of paper use whatever you need whatever you can it doesn't it doesn't matter so what so there's a few different things we can do sometimes what we'll do in preschool we'll take it in turns and we'll hold up a number and ask children if they recognize this number so, who knows what number this one is? It's the number one. So then we would say, go and get me one car. So not just that, you're introducing information carrying words in there as well, as well as recognising the number and attributing value to that number. And you can mix and match them with the different numbers. What we sometimes do in preschool is get a small group around a table and we'll have, say, some octagon shapes in there and what we'll do is build shapes. So we'll then say, we'll hold up another number and we'll say, right, using five octagons, make a shape. Or draw a shape or something, something that's attributing meaning then and value to that number. Okay. And a good thing to do is just to have, whether you have a piece of paper, I'm hoping you can see me as I'm videoing this, is... Uh, Put them out on the table, all your numbers. Now, you should do them to start in order at first. So you'd have obviously one, two, three, four, five. Once they become confident, you can then start to do them a bit more randomly because then you're testing then their knowledge of what they know. So what we do in preschool is we put all the numbers down like that, just one to five, and then we'd say to the child, 
what's this number? And hopefully they'll say one. If not, you'll say that's the number one. Let's put one thing and then you'd have a choice of these things and the child would pick one and put it next to the number one. And so on and so forth with the two, three, four and five. And then go beyond that. If your child, if you know, yeah, we do have some children in preschool, find that very, very easy. So we'll then go up to 10 with that child, maybe even 15. It, it depends how it's going. We, we, we will do it all on an individual basis. Then, like I say, we'll either tr introduce the addition symbol or even, for those children who are really uh, good with numbers, we'd introduce the takeaway symbol as well. Um, but that gets them more confident. When you're doing that, you could have, for instance, the number three, you could put that down, add one. And if you keep them separate, what makes it easier then for the child? Because obviously that's quite a big sum. And then you're adding equals on it as well. So what you can do is break it down. So you've got the number three. So you want your child to put three things next to that so they could get the spoons. One, two, three. Add, and that adds it together. Add a duck. That's one. So that's one. And then you're teaching your child and counting them all together to get this number here. And then you can use something else then to put as your number four. So we could say one, two, three spoons, four equals one, two, three, four. And by doing it visually like that so they can see each of the compartments it makes that if you do it more visually like that it makes it easier and plus it makes it a little bit more fun as well and you can do it with anything you know whatever your child's into whether it's dinosaurs whether it's cars whether it's teddies anything whether it's food <laughs> uh, anything and you can add them all together like that or just do the counting and recognizing the numbers and it's just another way of getting them to recognize the numbers uh, but attributing value to them. So not only then will your child know what a number three looks like, but they'll be able to count out three items to match that number as well. Yeah? So have a go with that. See what you think. Let me know. Let me know if this video is useful. Um, and like I say, it is good as well because you can introduce some information carrying words with these ones as well. And sometimes in preschool, we do a bit of a race. So we'll say, right who can go and get four items and then about six of them will go off into preschool and you know it's a bit of a race to who can come back correctly with the correct four items so that's always great fun as well and that's a brilliant one to do outdoors as well because what we sometimes do is say we'll have cars or something like that or teddies and we'll hide them outside and then we'll do that challenge as well and children really enjoy that because obviously they're so competitive to start off with and then they're all excited because they're all doing it at the same time. So that's a brilliant way. And then you can even take it that one step further if and get them to mark make the number as well, either by using chalk outside or pencils or pens or felt tips inside. Once they've recognised the number and they contribute value to it, why not get them trying to write it as well? Brilliant. Love to hear all about your learning on numbers and see how you're doing. Stay safe. See you soon. Bye.